guys, it's a bluebird. It's about 10.30 in the evening and I've kind of just gotten home half an hour ago. And I found that my gecko eggs have hatched. I cannot believe this. I was so excited that I opened up the lid and I saw that there were slits in the eggs, but I couldn't find the geckos. And I realized that there were these little tiny black things in the corners of the container, sorry, in the incubator. Now, um, this, I've currently got them set up in here, which is uh, just one of those plastic tubs that you can get basically in any uh, pet store. And um, I've got a paper towel in there, something for them to climb up on, and some fake exoterra decorations in there that I had. Um, and yeah, um, they are so cute, and I didn't realize how finicky they would be and how skittish they would be as little tiny hatchlings that I actually, um, when I went to grab one and put it in the tub, um, it just jumped off my hand, ran away, and I couldn't get him. He was like behind this reptile shelf I have behind me, and I couldn't get him because he was like far into it. And mind you, I can't exactly move this shelf. It's it's very heavy, and it took me a while, and I was getting really worried because, um, uh, yeah, it's really cold. Well, it's not really cold, but for them, it's kind of cold in the room at the moment, and I just wanted to get him in his tub and get him warmed up. Um, so, yeah, I'm currently just vlogging from my phone because uh, my camera is currently out of battery and also I'm just way too excited about this. I just wanted to show you a quick update on the new velvet geckos, marbled velvet geckos. Oh my goodness, it's still a mouthful. And the little babies are in here, as you can see, there's one right there. There's another one towards the back over there. They are just so cute. I kind of have to be really quick and really careful with this because I know that if I leave this lid uh, open for too long, they'll probably be able to escape really quickly. Look how beautiful they are. They're so cute and so small. I love, love, love the banded pattern on this one. It's just so beautiful. It's definitely very dark and um, you can see definitely where the yellow is going to come out. But um, yeah, that one that's hiding in the back, I think that one's a little bit traumatized because that's the one that kind of got away and it took a while for me to get him. But he's in there and he's safe now. So, yay me, it actually worked. My very cheap incubator worked. I wouldn't be able to tell you what sex the geckos are. I might have to wait maybe a year for that, for them to start showing signs of whether they are a boy or a girl. But until then, I'm just going to be um, <sighs> nursing these cute little things that oh, I'm just so excited about. I don't want to touch them. I've, I've read that they're very fragile, so I'm not even going to consider touching them. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just so excited so if you don't know what video I'm talking about I'm gonna just link it in the info section below and you guys can go watch that video on how I incubated my gecko eggs so that you might um, have a good understanding on, on how it works for me and it might work for you too but um, <sighs> I feel so good life is just Ah, so good. Ow. These holes in the chair. <laughs> anyway, um, I better go. I've got things to do and apparently I've got new little babies to attend to. So I'm going to uh, just stare at them for a couple of hours. Probably not go to sleep because all I'd probably be able to think about is just them. And yeah, I should um, go. But Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm excited. You already know this. I've said that I'm excited like a million times now, but I am. And yeah, uh, it's time for me to go. So that's, that's happening. Bye. <laughs>